Hello everyone. In this lecture, we are just going to program the Atmega 16 microcontroller for fetching analog values through ADC module available. Let's get started. So this is the same program that we used in the PWM lecture for generating PWM waves. And we just stored the duty cycle value of the PWM in the register OCR1A. So this register value can be of 10 bit that can be from 0 to 1023. Our ADC module is also of 10 bit so the value of the ADC module will be also varying from 0 to 1023. So what we are just going to do is we are going to connect a potentiometer or variable resistor to the analog pin of the microcontroller that is PA0 that we configured in the last lecture and we are going to connect a LED to the output compare pin channel A of timer 1. So this ADC module will give a value from 0 to 1023 once we are varying this potentiometer that is if it is towards the positive side it will give a value of 1023 and if we move the knob to the other end towards the ground side and it will give 0 when the knob is towards the ground we are just going to give the analog values that we fetch from this potentiometer to the duty cycle of this PWM module. So as I vary this knob of the potentiometer the brightness of the LED will be varied that is when I move the knob towards the positive side the brightness of the LED will be increased and when I move towards the ground the brightness of the LED will be decreased. So depending on the knob position the brightness of the LED will be varied that is the duty cycle of the PWM wave will be varied. What I will do is I will go to the configurations that we did in the last lecture. So these are the configurations that we did in the last lecture. I am copying this and I, and I will paste it above the while of 1 and I am bringing this ISR function below the main. Inside this ISR function I am loading the ADC value that we fetch from the analog to digital converter to the output compare register value. So the value that we fetch from the ADC will be directly fed to the compare register so the duty cycle of the PWM will be depending on the ADC value fetched. So as the program starts the processor will execute all these lines and it will trigger the PWM and the ADC modules and after that the processor comes over here and it will be held here as this is an infinite loop and once analog to digital conversion is complete the ADC module will interrupt the processor. So the processor passes all the process that it was doing here and it will come here. Here the compare register value will be loaded with the new ADC value and the brightness of the LED will be varied accordingly. After executing all the lines here the processor will come back to the main function and it will resume the process here. So whenever we turn the knob the ADC value will be varied and the ADC module will be interrupting the processor and this compare register value will be updated with the current ADC value. So thus the brightness of LED will be varied depending on the knob position of potentiometer. Now I am building the project using the icon here. Build successful. For uploading the program onto the microcontroller, firstly connect the USB ASP programmer to your PC through USB port. And then connect the JTAG connector from your USB ASP programmer to your development board. If you are not having a development board or if your development board is not showing this JTAG terminal, you can directly connect the terminals of USB ASP programmer to your microcontroller pin nodes as per this circuit diagram. And you can build the circuit in a breadboard for programming your Atmega 16 microcontroller. After that, power up your development board using external 12 volt 1 amps adapter. Once you have done this, open the program ISP software and choose the microcontroller required in Select chip drop down box. 
then after that you just want to check this program flash checkbox and then check this program fuse and verify flash checkbox and then you just want to set the clock to external crystal oscillator in the fuse bits configuration go to the fuse and lock configuration bits tab and here set the clock selection 3 clock selection 2 clock selection 1 and clock selection 0 to be 1 these four bits must be 1 for selecting the external crystal oscillator and now click on this right and you can see the fuse bits will be loaded now click on the load flash icon go to the respective project folder and inside the debug folder you can find this hex file click on it and click on open click on this erase to erase the chip and then click on this auto button for uploading the program to the microcontroller and the programming is successfully done now will the circuit to see the output in the hardware you can see this is the output that i got in my hardware see you in the next lecture thanks for watching